Hi there, here's Kakako with a new Computercraft Turtle program for you. Uh, well, this one is kind of an exception, so don't get used to so many videos in such a short period of time. Uh, but today I watched Direwolf 20's single player let's play, and there he built a really compact contraption to feed his endoflames from um, Botania. And I thought, okay, well, there's no need for computer craft turtle programs then anymore. But then he added that he challenges everyone to do it in less than three block spaces. And <laughs> challenge accepted, of course. Uh, computer craft is so far not uh, in his pack, but I hope he will add it later. And well, the solution, of course, is a turtle. Uh, but the turtle has the same issue as a dropper. It spreads the item when dropping it. And here's a little test program to demonstrate it. It looks quite quite nice. But you see here also uh, when dropping it upwards, uh, it's, it's a, a really big spread, about five, five by five uh, spaces. And well, the solution here is if the turtle um, drops the items in front of itself and there is a block for example a spreader in front of it and you can even uh, link it here so that it the binding box is, is still the same and when the turtle now drops a item in front of it it always lands such an, on, on this place more or less and the turtle is always able to suck in again the item so to prevent uh, despawning and yeah that's that's the precondition for for the endoflame feeder and let's download it paste pin get mm, it's small b capital m h small s capital g y zero six and i called it a for automation and endo feeder oops not feather feeder okay and uh, not not the filler ah derp and now if we give them give it some some now every three seconds it spits out an item and it is still able to suck it in again. Maybe I just collect everything here. And well, I thought this is just a, a really simple program. Uh, so I added two more options. Uh, one option is uh, add some symbolic additional spreaders. Uh, you can well the first parameter is actually the the time the turtle waits until it sucks back in everything Let's make it one second now, and if you put in here as a second parameter a four then The turtle kind of serves four spreaders Additionally if it runs out of material uh, it will try to get uh, further material from from a chest below and how does this look in a real life situation with uh, I think this is 6 12 24 endoflames uh, I've got here a stack of coal and below also some some materials to burn um, let's reduce it so that it has to that has to sooner to to, um, to refill from below. Um, a endo feeder, and uh, the turning of the turtle also takes some time. So when when turning, you can also go with zero seconds and four. And now we should see quite some mana getting produced. It takes a little time so that all the endoflames has, has had the opportunity to eat some coal. And if you're using maybe blocks of coal, then you could add a higher delay, let's say uh, two or three seconds or so. If, if the turtle runs out of material, uh, it will wait for new material. If it's 
if it's not able to resupply from below. Oh, I think this is quite some, some mana action going. And from my perspective, this just uses one block space. So, Direwolf, uh, dire wolf, I think, hmm? I, I, I beat you on, on this challenge. Okay. Hope you, hope you well, well, hope you, <laughs> hope you have enjoyed this small and short video and give the program a try. And yeah, hope to see you soon. Bye bye.